pasa Carlos? ¿Cómo estás? Estoy muy bien, gracias. Oh, here my dad's pressure washing the tiny leader before we put it away. Uh, pressure wash the back of the tractor. Pressure wash the new corn head. Uh, then we gotta swap out the knife roll. Rolls are under here. These. There's two on each row, so there's 12 pieces. They're held in with a roll pin, and then there's a giant puller, 14 ton puller you put on the end of it and yank them out. Um, the chopping rolls basically break the residue down a lot. A lot quicker in the smaller pieces, so I don't have issues plugging up the following year. It'll help it break it down, the microbes can get at it as opposed to a big piece of stock, which would normally be with the normal head. If we didn't change them, we would just leave that. It just kind of creates a mess for subsequent years. I'm pretty happy. This is a new corn, new to me corn head that I got. The six Deer 693. I try to buy stuff at auction, but the, uh, the couple auctions I followed, the normal price on these in the past year or two, been $13,000 or so, and uh, so the last couple auctions in particular, one that I bid on, it went for 20 and a half. So as soon as I saw that, I, I got in touch with the dealer who was in uh, southern uh, Michigan. They had him on their lot for $13,000, $13,500. I said, will you take $13,000? And then I had it trucked up here for $1,000. That's that. And once the... Dad's done pressure washing the back of the tractor. We'll take the tine leader and move it back there next to the drill. Then pick up, hook the tractor to the low cultivator. And in this box is a monitor and a camera and a cable and a harness that will go, the camera will go on here pointing at the row to tell me if I'm slipping off the row while I'm row cultivating. Harness will go up to the monitor that's in the cab. So that's a project for him um, also. So plenty of stuff to do. Uh, just giving you a quick update of what's going on here. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Oh, my dad's 80 years old. He's out there doing that. We complain about people not wanting to come to work out here. My nieces and nephews in particular. Uh, so I don't think you watch this. So I'll just say. An 80-year-old man is shaming you, and we pay them. We will pay them a competitive wage for what they can make in town, but nobody wants to do it. So, rant over. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.